I've been here for about eight months. Eight months. Nine months. Almost two years. I've been in Mabel Bassett for 12 years. I wouldn't say constantly, but fights do occur. People fight about stupid stuff. The microwave, um, showers. You cut me in line, just stuff. Fighting is not my first option. I would rather be able to sit down with you and talk about it. We can scream about it if you want to for the first five or 10 minutes, but I'm over it after that because no one's listening. But fighting is not an option. <laughs> That's true for some people. <laughs> there are a lot of relationships here. People live here, you know, and everybody needs a companion, I guess. So yeah, that one's true. Not all prison food sucks, but most of it does. <laughs> With so much going on for prison reform, is there nothing we can do about the food? <laughs> I'm just confused. I love um, enchiladas. You just make it off canteen. You can get like beans, noodles, um, a box of chicken, sour cream, just the basic stuff to make a meal. Take a shower, man. You smell like a skunk that OD'd on vinegar and died. <laughs> That's not true either. False. I've literally seen women shower like three times a day and I feel like maybe I should be showering three times a day. Our warden lets us have makeup, so that's a plus. <laughs> On Canteen, we can buy um, cover-up, mascara, and eyeshadow. Eyeliner, we use colored pencils. If you wet them, it's, they're just like, I mean, it, they work better than eyeliner. Of course, we all have tricks of the trade. I had my mom send me a really cool Christmas card that was covered in glitter. It just falls right off there. You kind of just scrape it off and we'll use like gel or hairspray to like keep it there. And we also have a beauty shop. Each unit has its own day that they go on. You can get your nails. I got my nails done last week. And uh, you can get your hair cut. For that one day, you get to be like a woman and feel pretty. There's definitely some scary people in prison. Do I think everyone in prison is violent and dangerous? Absolutely not. I've met some really sweet, honest, good people. And, and I know that's really hard to believe being that we're in prison, but I have. I've met some really sweet people here in prison. Most of these women who are here behind violent crimes, I don't want to say all, but most, is it's self-defense or bad situations, wrong place, wrong time. Of course you have, you're bullies, but that's anywhere you go. It's just your choice to whether you interact with them or not. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! That's false. It was nothing like what I see in television. No one fought that hard for me. <laughs> no way. They have a lot of cases to go through, so they just kind of push it on through, push it on through. Here, sign this. Not a lot of people know what they're signing. I didn't go on trial and all that. I just took a plea deal, so basically the judge just told me, hey, you're having five in, five out. Then they sentenced me and I came about a week later to prison. I had a public defender. He was not up to standard. A year later, someone else was appointed to me. By the time the attorney got all of my paperwork and information, it was so mangled that she was like, this is the best that I can do. I, I can get you 20 years. Everything is a mess. And if we go to trial, they'll probably try to hang you. So I took it. No, that's not true. I was a mom, a wife, a sister. She just made some bad choices. It doesn't mean that I was a low life. You do have some people that are just horrible. That's men and women. But not everyone here is a low life. So they just made some horrible mistakes. It's not true. Absolutely not true. I'm a great mom. My kids love me dearly, and I love my kids more than anything in life. I actually just got a letter from my son who is 13. He sent me a picture and on the back of the picture, he said, mom, you're the best, even though you're not always there. And so, no, I don't think it makes us bad moms. We made bad decisions. Because of the bad decisions I'm making, I'm missing out on their life. It's very unfortunate that our children are having to grow up without us, but my son thinks I hung the moon. He would, he would run up to me and 
Tell me that. I have his whole heart. What would you say back to him? You know your mind too. You have some of the best parenting happening right here. Women are reaching out to their children every day. They go to camp. They go to Girl Scouts. They um, write letters. They're taking parenting classes. They're doing a lot to help the restoration of their family. So women are putting forth a lot of effort. They're not bad moms. What do I love about myself? I love my eyes. <laughs> They're hazel green and they change to like this pretty hazel color with my moods. I'm very optimistic. Yeah, I'm optimistic, yeah. I have a great heart. If I see somebody that is in need, I mean, I, I will give somebody the shirt off my back. I like my smile, which I used to close down and hide. I would have to say I'm resilient at best. The past couple of years have been a lot for me, but I just keep going every day trying to do better. Prison is like a little underworld. We have relationships, we have, there's, there's little groups. Walk in the yard, it's like stepping out. Who can step out and have their hair the straightest and their contraband makeup on the best, you know? <laughs> you can put me in prison, but I still have a personality. We still like to laugh, we still like to have fun. I mean, we have to keep living some way or another. People hold us at such a, a low bar when in fact we're intelligent. We're just like anybody else. Just because I couldn't get my, out of my addiction doesn't make me a bad person. I'm still a really good person inside and out and people tend to forget that, I think. And there's some people that actually come here and see their mistake for what it was and they go, okay, I'm not gonna go back to that life. The misconception that people may have about me is that I'm no good because I've been to prison. I am so much more than the box that anybody could put me in. It goes back to that old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. A cover's not a story. You never know what that book's been through. Glitter cards are everywhere. Everybody needs a glitter card. Just saying, if you know a female in prison, make sure to send her a glitter card, promise you. They can even like sell little pieces. You can sell little pieces of your glitter card, you know, for like a dollar, which is, when I say a dollar, it's like four noodles, you know, here, there's the, that's a dollar, so. <laughs> Soul Pancake, subscribe.